Greetings, everybody, from Ross Township, Pennsylvania. We're here at McIntyre Square. This is one of my old stomping grounds. I used to come up here all the time with my parents and grandparents especially. Um, the place I'm about to take you in today is at home. This at home used to be Kmart. It was one of my favorite ones. I frequented this one all the time, basically every Sunday when my grandfather was around. Um, because my grandfather and I would go to church early Sunday morning, go get breakfast, and then on our way to Giant Eagle, which is just on the other side of the parking lot, to grocery store, we would stop over here at Kmart. And it was always a lot of fun. I always really enjoyed being able to just walk through the store for an hour or so, or half an hour, and go over to Giant Eagle, which, yeah, I don't really care for that place. But anyway, today we're at home. At Home took the store over a handful of years ago as this Kmart itself closed in, I think it was 2015 or 2016. It was right around that time frame, uh, right before I started doing YouTube. And At Home took over not too long after. And it's been a great store, and I know they have a lot of Christmas goodies and inflatables. So let's go inside of At Home, and see what they have for Christmas 2021. Yeah, here is At Home. We have the bee friend today. I just love driving that car. Not that there's anything wrong with the Z, I just love driving the B friend because it's new to us. But anyway, at home, let's go inside and get out of the rain. All right, right as we go in the store, I see we're surrounded by Christmas goodies everywhere. It's a Christmas wonderland in here, holy cow. We'll go down the other way in a moment, but let's go over here and look at all the lights. Look at the huge ornament just to start. My gosh. And look at the reindeers and Santa. Wow, this place is ridiculous with the stuff. Holy cow, they have so much everywhere. From the snowmen and reindeer to the nativity scene. Wow, presents. <laughs> and if you like them in white, they have them in white too. And if you like them in Nate's sweater, yes, I made the reference. Go ahead and get me again, I don't care. There they are. And they got more reindeer. Another ornament in the willow tree. Winter willow. More reindeer. A deflated ornament. All right. <laughs> and the flag. The flag on the uh, light pole. The lamppost. I just love that. And look how the light is flickering up there too. If you can see it. That is so beautiful. I love that one the most. Especially with the Merry Christmas flag on it. And then we have a sleigh. More snowmen. Hi, little buddy. He was hiding in the corner there. As you can see, they have big candy canes, too. These candy canes are five feet tall. They're nearly as tall as me. And they light up. That's pretty cool. I wonder how much they are. 20 bucks or two of them. Hmm. I might grab a couple, actually. They have more reindeer and sleigh. I love the lanterns. Look at those candy canes now. Those are awesome. Then down here we have some Christmas trees. We have some smaller ones anyway. A little bit too big for the, the shelf though. But they're nice nevertheless. More decor. I'm gonna have to kind of breeze through this because they have so many things here. Look at these reindeer and the ornament and that lamppost. Isn't that cool? In here they have a lot of Christmas towels, rugs. You can mix and match. These aren't necessarily Christmas, but these ones are. And yes, I am getting the candy canes. I want to put those on the porch. And look at the signs they have here. Actually, these are pretty cool too. Merry Christmas. I like the Rudolph one. And these signs here. Look how many they have. They have a great selection. I like the bicycle wheel one. I feel like I have my Gandalf staff with me with this ridiculous thing. Look at that. That's how tall they are. Oh well, let's continue. This is what I wanted to see. Look at all the Christmas trees they have here. Look at this one that's frosted with the blue lights. They're supposed to be white, but they kind of come off as like a blue color because they're cool white. And those are the warm white ones. This one here, wow. That one is awesome. But as we back away, we have more trees. Holy cow, look at the height of this one, 12 feet. That's the Clark Griswold Christmas tree there. And this one, even on camera, it looks pink. It's white, 
It just looks like it's pink on camera. This one is weird. Okay. More white Christmas trees. Silver. I don't care for the tinsel ones. The black ones are cool for Halloween, maybe. Excuse me, sorry. This one's weird too. It's like felt. But that's a six foot tree, six and a half foot tree. Maybe seven feet. But look at these ones. I love the blue one. On camera, it comes out a little bit more blue than it does with the naked eye. It's got more of like a teal color to it. On camera, it's a little deceiving. The rainbow tree, the green tinsel tree. Now this one is, oh, I like how it goes from white to a blend of white and red. It's a mostly red down at the bottom. That's cool. Another goofy looking tree. Okay. And as I was saying, that one, that one's my favorite. I like that one the most. The trees go on. Oh my gosh. These ones are just so strange to me. I, I, they're just, they're different. They're different. I'll say that. But we have so many more trees. And these ones are more of your basic ones. They're not all fancied up with the fake snow. But a lot of them are pre-lit. Which, if that's what you like, great. If you're like me and you don't like pre-lit trees, you like to light them yourself, that's great. Because especially if a bulb goes out and say the whole strand does, you don't have to search for it. You can just take the light string off, try and go through it, or just replace it. Wow, these trees are huge. Those, these ones are 10 and 12. 12 feet tall. Holy cow. My goodness. Now that is beautiful. This one got the perfect blend of berries and pine cones and just a hint of snow on all the branches. Very pretty, very tall too. I wish I could stand further away, but I mean, just look at the dozens and dozens of trees. Boy, I came to the right place this time. That's for sure. <laughs> Holy cow, dozens of trees. This one's upside down, what in the hell? No, I'm, I definitely didn't have any beer today, so I know I'm not drunk, but I'm wondering if whoever put that up was, or is that supposed to be like that? And if so, why? Moving on. I just love the assortment of trees they have here. Oh my God, it's so awesome, except for this weird one upside down like that, but the rest, oh yeah. All right, now that I got through all the Christmas trees, they have dozens and dozens of ornaments. I like the holographic looking ones. The wide angle lens kind of makes them look blurry in a way. But geez, they really went all out for Christmas, that's for sure. Like the Santa clock. <laughs> a lot of stockings too. Do you need a stocking? They have tons. Look at how many they have. I can't even go through them all. I just wouldn't have the time. They have stocking holders too. All right, gosh. This is definitely a Christmas headquarters. Look at all the bows. Oh, boy. And look what we found down here. Inflatables. Holy crap. <laughs> I hear you on the brain freeze one. Duty, duty. Oh, my God. <laughs> they have the Holy Family. Santa. A little Santa, they have a Grinch, Peppa Pig, and a huge 20-foot snowman. I've actually seen this at somebody's house already. It, it, it's as tall as the house. Look at that, it goes all the way up to the ceiling and into the rafters. <laughs> oh man, is that awesome. Merry Christmas. Jeez. This is awesome. Look at these ones. They got Clark Griswold. Oh my god, and they got Buddy the Elf. That is cool. That one is cool. Oh man, I never seen that one before. There they are right there, 50 bucks. They got doormats. And I was thinking about it. The one I have, I have one for Christmas. I might be throwing away because I tried to clean it and it just got so many stains in it from like rock salt and people's shoes and stuff because we have a gravel parking lot that I couldn't get out. So I might just get rid of it. I've had it for a few years. And just get a new one. Look at that. Olaf, Twilight Sparkle Pony, Reindeer, Christmas Elf, Santa. This place is awesome. Then over here, 
We have a little snowman family. Little rainbow tree, Mickey Mouse, a husky, another nativity scene. Santa creepily overlooking the nativity scene. Actually, it's kind of cool, kind of cute how they have that set up. Like, even they're a part of it. That's pretty cool. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, or you do, and or you celebrate Hanukkah, they even have a Hanukkah inflatable, what is that, a menorah. I couldn't think of it right off the top of my head. I apologize. But that's pretty cool. Speaking of Hanukkah, they actually have a whole, a whole end cap dedicated to it. They should have more, though. You know, I know Christmas kind of dominates, but there should be more available out there for people that don't celebrate Christmas. Or if they do, and they and they celebrate Hanukkah, there you go. Now look at all of the tree skirts. They have dozens and dozens of tree skirts in this aisle. Jeez, it's incredible over here. More stockings, and these are the ones that are personalized with letters on them for your name and on this side we have lots of bow or ribbon rather it's uh burlap and christmas ribbons for your gift giving needs and tons of doormats oh my god i say that now they're everywhere <laughs> look at these oversized ones geez merry christmas that's a cool one very large though very large placemats table runners very cool Let's go over here. Soap pumps. So, wow, they have a lot of wreaths, and these ones are basic, so you can kind of decorate the plain ones the way you want. They're pre-lit, some of them, too. Not all of them, but some. That one's cool. Some of these are cool, too. Very cool. Holly, or garland. Over here we have gift bags. We have a lot of gift bags, actually. Lots of them. A lot of gift boxes, too. Looks like people were going through them, but they didn't really want to put them back very nicely. More tins. I love these tins, actually. It's like a three-piece tin. I guess it's magnetic. Little tins. You can put cookies or chains or whatever you want in there. Gift boxes, bows. Now, let's get back here again, because I know there are more wreaths in the next aisle, but I wanted to show you this, too. For your bathroom, they have bath rugs. And they have bath rug kits with Santa being on the toilet or a snowman. It's a little weird, but okay. <laughs> and then in here, lots of reeds. Lots of reeds. Like I was saying, lots of reeds. My goodness. Fancy. Look at all these candle holders, too. Lots of candle holders. And the sleighs. They even have Santa's boot here next to the sleigh. <laughs> they got some flowers down here. They got poinsettias. Now, these fake ones are good because if you have kitties, you shouldn't have real ones because they're poisonous to cats. So, if you want, you can get these fake ones and they won't hurt your kitties at all. Speaking of that, they have more over here. Love the garland. Man, these are, these are pretty nice. Look at all the different styles they have. The gold ones, I'm not so keen on. Silver, too. I like the ones that have color in them. Especially the red ones. These were nice. They're like the fall leaves or poinsettia leaves, I guess. And here we have colorful ornaments and beaded garland and tinsel. I like how they coordinate with the colors here. Yeah, that's really nice. Kayla just joined me. Yep. She just headed over. She knew I was over here. She was looking elsewhere at one of the other stores. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like they don't want a shiny finish, then some people do. So it's nice that they do that with the finish. Yeah, I like the matte finish. Look at all the little I don't even know what you call these, but they have so many of them. Oh my god. Flowers. Speaking of which, these bins, even though a lot of them are empty, they're supposed to have flowers in them, and some of them do. A lot of people come here to make their um, flower bouquets and stuff for weddings too. 
Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You know, you could even fix something up nice if you wanted to. Get a little bit of something and something else. Put put a nice arrangement together. You know, I could do something like this for my dad at the cemetery. Or even at home. Whichever. Jeez, they just go on. Look at all the ornaments. We, we've seen these now in the other aisle. How they have the clear holographic looking ones. And these are shatterproof ones. Yeah, I really like these. Yeah. The way lights would shine on those would make it look really pretty. Yeah. And it'd be great for our place since we have fur babies. Mm -hmm. Since they like to use the tree as a jungle gym. Check out the Bob Ross ornament. Now, is that cool or what? Now, I don't need to get one because Kayla's parents sent me one in the mail with, like, a bunch of other little Christmas gifts that they gave us early. So would you rather have a Peppa Pig one instead? No. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't... Well, this one ain't too bad. The Snoopy one. I like this guy. Hermie. <laughs> Hermie. That's cool. There you go. Hermie. I have that one. Barbie? No. <laughs> a Barbie doll. Uh-huh. Look at these little, these little nutcrackers. Sweet. Mickey. We've seen the projection lights. And over here we have, yep, nativity scenes, nativity sets. The real reason for the season. You know, not just Santa, not just presents, gift giving to everybody, but the real reason for the season. Whether you follow that or not, that's respectful if you do or don't. But lots of blues here. That one, that shiny big blue one. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I would have said it matched your hair, but you dyed your hair, blondie. I'm blonde. <laughs> it's not finished yet. <laughs> but lots of ornaments. What, did you take Uber to get over here or something, or what? Me? Yeah, you were far. I walked. Oh. <laughs> I walked. Jeez. I'm not, I'm not Uber. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> like, okay, lots of golds. Now, see, I'm not big keen on... I'm not really keen on these colors, but maybe you like them. Oh, these ones, too. Like I said, I'm not my favorite color-wise, but maybe you like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. Even these are nice. These decorations here. I love little animals. I do too. Love them. That one's smelling. That one's butt. <laughs> I like this with the cardinal on it. On the little, you could put a little candle in there. That would be cute. That's adorable. And I like this for the door. These are only six dollars. The one I have, I'm kind of tired of. I kind of like those better. I like the one shaped as the Christmas tree. Yeah, me too. That one's cool, and that's so the last one. Oh, no, it's not the last one. Yeah, grab it. I'll take it. I'll buy it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the moment I say I'll buy a new doormat, now I find hundreds of them. I'm not really fond of these ones, though. I'd like some that I'd seen elsewhere, especially at, uh, oh, where was it that I saw a bunch of good ones? Boscovs and Meyer. Now, over here, yes, we did. Now, they still have Halloween stuff left over in here. We are a week away from Thanksgiving as of the filming of this. Now, they got tree toppers. We have a tree topper. We don't need anything like this. But it's cool that every year, if we wanted to, we could change it up. I don't really want to because it would get expensive quickly. Even these tree toppers are cool. And they have more over here. Look at this one. Look at that star one. I, I like really that. Like those. With the mirror finish. Now, besides the tree toppers, look over here. <laughs> More flowers. Look at all the colorful flowers. And these you can set up any way you like. These are just, uh-huh, Christmas picks. I like the one with the little hat. These are so cool. Look how many they have. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize walking in here how big this video would be. Uh-huh. I could see glitter being on everything and never coming off of it. Look at the big nutcracker too. They have a that's about three foot, four foot tall. Starting at seven ninety nine. I don't think it's seven ninety nine. No, nah, that's more like add like a hundred and forty one dollars. <laughs> um, more nutcrackers over here, and they have a lot of Christmas decor over here. I'm not even through all the Christmas stuff for aisles. Look at it, it just goes on and on. Look at the mini nutcrackers, look how small they are. Look, 
Six, this one's. <laughs> Here's me, it's chunky. <laughs> no. I like the owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Too many, unless you bite it and break your teeth on it. <laughs> More nutcrackers. Oh, they have a lot of nutcrackers here. That's cool. Look, there's you up there with the cake. Yeah, because I'm an old lady. <laughs> Thanks. I like this assortment here with the snowflakes and the blues. More of those holographic ones. And they come with snowflakes that match. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. And they're 40 pieces for eight ninety nine. We could change up the ornaments we have because we have so many. We have so many ornaments on our tree. We run out of limbs to put the ornaments on. And guess what? We actually, when we bought our Christmas tree when we first moved in, where did we get our ornaments, Kayla? We got them from right here. At home. At home. Uh huh. And we got a great deal, and we loved it. Garden Ridge. Garden Ridge, yes. Look but at all the pillows. Garden Ridge, mm -hmm. My grandparents would always take me and my younger brother to Garden Ridge and we would get to pick out an ornament each year for Christmas. That's pretty and cool. We continue that. I yeah. started doing that tradition with Wally. Yeah, and we need to get we need to do it again this year. Oh my god, I love that pillow. I love that one. Even though I'm not a dog person, that one's awesome. Look at the little puppies playing with a ball on it too. And, yeah, lots of pillows. There's a Nate pillow there, a Nate guy pillow. Yeah, go ahead. There's another another shot at it. A s'more maker. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. If you don't want to make them outside, you can make them right inside your home. My only concern about this, and hear me out, guys, is this thing getting too hot and it melts everything. Mm-hmm. That, that would be the biggest concern. Yeah, I know. I wonder how much that is. I bet my aunt and uncle would like that. Uh... I bet you they would. I bet you they would like that for Christmas. I don't know. Eighty nine ninety nine. Maybe because that's what that says. Oh, good. It's free ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. That ain't bad at all. That's good to consider that. And a foot massager. God knows I need that after my work days. And mine too. I need one after uh, after I work. I need one for my back too. Now look, they got more back here too. Now these are more like. These are fancier. They're too fancy for me. And there's Nate's comforter. Uh-huh. Take a shot every time we make a reference to Nate's sweater. <laughs> I know a couple people wanted to get all hissy about it and say, Oh, don't do it. The joke is we're doing it on purpose now, out of spite. <laughs> Just like Nate's hats and sleighs. If you don't like what we do, don't watch the video. Yeah, you don't have to watch. It's okay. Watch some other time if you want. The baskets are cool. I like the Christmas baskets. The night before Christmas. Oh, look at this. These are gift sets. They have a Starbucks one. Oh, nice. Starbucks sets popcorn. They have gingerbread, co gingerbread cottage kits. Boy, I butchered that. Elf cocoa. Elf cocoa? Yeah. Yep. Pretty cool. Okay, lastly, we're going to do this front section of aisles here. As you can see, this one is all roses and Rose pinks. Gold. Yeah, rose gold, rose pink, those kinds of colors, which, again, I'm not fond of, but maybe you like them. Lots of golds on that end cap, a few silvers, and then here we go, more of the same with the roses and golds. Again, I'm just not the craziest on these colors. You know, everybody has their own personal taste, though. And then to the right, it looks like there's a bunch of rustic and stuff. Yeah, I'll show you that as soon as we get to the end of this aisle, because this is more of my thing behind me. And we're actually starting to work into that with these, I see, I love this kind of, how should I say it, it kind of, things like this here and like that there give me like a southern Christmas feel. I believe that would be considered rustic. Yeah, like, I feel like I'm celebrating Christmas in like Tennessee, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Now, as I was saying, now this is the aisle that I like. I like the colors of the items, I especially like this. That, that's actually pretty nice. They have a countdown to Christmas. Look at the owls. See, I love this. It's like a farmy, comfy, Texas-y Christmas, I guess you could call it, especially with that lantern. Look at that, it's like in a barn. Very nice. Random Mickey. <sighs> I do like. 
even the cookie jars that they have, the oven mitts, the ornaments. This is more up my way. Now they're starting to get a little boring here. These colors are a little dull. But again, everybody has their own taste. Maybe you see something you like, and I'm just kind of breezing through everything with everything they have here. So much glitter. Not enough time to clean it all up. Garland. Lots of greens and reds and whites. That's the other thing with at home. They organize everything by color like that. Look at the elf hats and elf feet. Lots of red. Look how large these ornaments are. They're like five, six inches in diameter. Santa and reindeer and elves. Oh my. The elf made me do it. Lots of garland. More elves. <laughs> how many days till Christmas? Oh, look at that candle. That's cool. That would be cool to have. They have enough tissue box covers. Look at the little train. That little train is pretty awesome. Lots more Christmas goodies. Look at these trees, how they're bent over. They're little elf trees. They're bent over like like uh, Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, but no, nah, I have the OG. I got his. But yeah, they have a lot of ornaments. Look at all the Nate guy on YouTube ornaments. They have the Christmas present wrapped up like that. Take another shot. There's the Nate uh, Cardinal. <laughs> There's the Nate, uh, it looks like a moose, almost. Yeah, Nate moose, and look, there's Nate berries. Nate berries. Nate berries, <laughs> and there's Nate ribbon. Nate ribbon, Nate snowflake. How many shots are you up to? <laughs> See, now these are some of my favorite ornaments, period. I, I love these, like the Home for the Holidays one. That one is gorgeous. I like that one. I like the mailbox one. That one. The barn. Perfect. Even these aren't too bad with the Nate bird nests. <laughs> wow, just lots of ornaments. Lots and lots of ornaments and garland. Look at all the different Santas, including the mermaid one. Mermaid That's a new one. Yeah. That is a new one. This one's jamming out. What do you think he's listening to? He's yeah, I'm thinking like behem well, Behemoth is black metal, but like maybe like, yes. yeah, or Slayer or Karak Angren, maybe. Yeah. Oh, well, He's listening to Napalm Death, we know. Okay, so lots of trains. <laughs> Sorry, we're metalheads. If you didn't recognize any of those band names, we don't blame you. I'm not gonna go and say Metallica because that's so mainstream. I want to go with, yeah, you know, I want to go with the bands that nobody's heard of. I did throw Slayer in there, but that's because they're actually well, they were good. <laughs> R.I.P. Jeff Henneman. These trees are cool. They have so many. I like the white one. The one time I do like a white tree. There's Charlie Brown Christmas tree right there. The original, the O.G. Pretty cool. Check out the blue palms. <laughs> palms not palms that's cool the ornaments shatterproof oh wow i'm kind of surprised at some of those gingerbread house kits look at the rv that's oh, made yeah, out yeah. of gingerbread oh, yes Can't they would uh-huh that is cool yeah not a whole lot in this aisle i got frosted red ornaments here elfing around look at the owls oh the snowy owls are cute i love snowy owls i wish i could see them I had a chance in Erie years ago, but never got one. Just, a blue sandal? Uh-huh. He's like diving. <laughs> Lots of ornaments, though. More Nate ornaments here. Deck the halls. Love you, Nate. Gotta make the joke. He's a good sport about it, too. I'm like other people. Yeah, I know. They get all mad. That's a joke. Lighten up. <laughs> More Christmas ornaments. I'm just kind of breezing through them because they just have so many. My goodness, here we go into the whites and silvers again. A lot of whites and silvers. Mm-hmm. Tinsel wreaths. Well, that one isn't, but that one is. White trees. Glittery, shiny, sparkly. Lots of silver ornaments. Lots of them. 
polar bear that's like he's had a couple too many and the seal i didn't even see the seal until i stopped recording for a second then had to turn the camera right back on that's cool but yeah lots of ornaments and lots of silvery decor and the woodland critters all being carried by the the polar bear because everybody else is lazy <laughs> Check out this display. They have like a lot. They have a lifelike dog. I love that dog. That is a beautiful dog. It is like it's lifelike. It, it really is. And even the uh, I guess this is like a caribou or a moose or whatever a reindeer. I guess. Gee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they even got a drum. The trucks. I can't imagine how expensive some of this stuff is. These are cool. Now see, you can make your own like little crafts with like flowers in in, in a tin like that. Use a candy dish. Mm-hmm. We could. And I'm going to do one last aisle here. I like these little ornaments here for like a mini tree. Like a tiny little Christmas tree like we have in our bedroom. They have special ones here that would break in a heartbeat. They're hand painted. All of them are hand painted. And you could tell because look, the picture is slightly different on these two. Keep it away from Larry and Mhm. Mm How cool though. Very well done. Very, very well done. Check out that train. It goes down a hill and back up. A lot of whites and silvers in this aisle. I'm not really keen on them, although that's like cool that and so here. is that. Yeah. yeah. The the detail in that is pretty cool, even though it's just flat. Th there's a lot of detail in that. A lot of silvers, a lot of whites. Over here we have a lot of colors. And these are all the breakable ornaments, too. A lot of these are the ones that would shatter the moment they hit the floor. Yeah, because they're all made out of glass. No, not, maybe not so much for those, but a lot of these are made out of glass and would break. Hi, St. Nick. Now, before we wrap up, there was just one more thing I wanted to show you as we get up here. See, those ones are already falling out of the box, but hopefully they're not broken. Check this out. 30-piece motorized train set. Great for the kids, ages 8 and up. See, mine is very, very, very similar to that, being a Christmas story train set. It's the same scale, and it is um, same size. It comes with the same number of cars and everything. They even have the night before Christmas and another train set. Very cool. And with that, we're going to head on out. Oh, look at these little tinsel trees. If you like a little tinsel tree, they have them in multiple different colors, including rainbow. And I just, I love the white that goes white to red and then the red and even the white that goes white and pink to pink. Very cool. All right, well, that's going to wrap up our look at at home for Christmas. Gee whiz, did they have a lot of stuff in there. They had a lot of stuff. We, we got that little, um, we got that little thing to hang on the doorknob too. <laughs> I don't know if I put that on camera or not, but they had one of those ones I showed on camera. We grabbed that and uh, put that on the door. And wow, excellent, excellent assortment of Christmas goodies here in the old Kmart. The Kmart couldn't even say that when they were here. And I like this one because this was the biggest one we had in the North Hills. Uh, they, This was the one that replaced the Kmart that was up at McCandless there in the building that became known as Trader Horn. You may have seen the videos I did there. And that was Trader Horn, and Kmart moved up here. And then, like I said, they closed in about 15 or 16. And At Home took over immediately. And just, this place is awesome. It's great to see this place come alive again. And uh, that's better than what Office Max could stay right back there. Now, unfortunately, when they were liquidating is when we both had the virus. So I couldn't make it out and film it to close. And then when we got better... You know, we were going everywhere, and then it closed up while we were away, so bummer. But, oh well, that was like the last original anchor here, because this was this was Kmart. The Office Max was there for the longest time, and then over there where Gabe's is, that used to be Farmore. And we loved going to Farmore. We were there all the time, too, until they closed in 2000. We used to rent VHS tapes and movies there a lot. <laughs> My dad loved it, and actually... When I was really young, I ran into and met an old KDKA meteorologist that would be on the TV, on the news, and he retired years ago. But it was so cool. I was, like, starstruck. The first time I saw somebody that I thought was famous, I was, like, I think seven or eight when that happened. But 
Anyway, I could go on. We'll do another video here. I'll do one telling you a little bit about McIntyre Square and things in Ross Township that I grew up with at another time. So stay tuned. But anyway, we're heading out. Take care, everybody. Stay awesome. I got my mouth full with uh, cheese chips. Have a Tamar delicious. Well, have an at-home delicious day. Here's my chips. <laughs> have an at-home delicious day. Bye, everyone. Bye.